He's shown speed. He's shown dominance at other racetracks. And now he's showing that he can get to victory lane at Iowa Speedway. He's the first cup winner. Ryan Blaney wins in Iowa. I like that atmosphere. You know, when there's excitement, there's a buzz, and there's not a single seat not sold out or, or getting sat in, you know, on, on Sunday nights. That's always, uh, as a competitor, um, that's what you want, right? That's what, uh, that's what you race for. Yeah, I thought just in general the facility was, um, you know, there was certainly a lot of energy in the facility and the people around here, I think, um, you know, very accommodating. Um, certainly a lot of excitement to have a cup race here in Iowa. Yeah, I think, um, you know, the whole organization kind of worked together to, to have a good, um, you know, baseline when we got here. Um, you know, we tried several things in practice as a company, and I wouldn't say we learned anything, any positive directions, any good takeaways, but we certainly checked our, some things off the list uh, not to do. We were okay Friday. I, I honestly didn't feel great Friday after practice. I, I thought we kind of struggled a little bit towards the end. And, and, and had some different ideas, um, you know, to put the car on Saturday morning for qualifying, and certainly those paid off. Uh, had good speed in qualifying and race. We just got better. We just got way better, uh, you know, Friday night. Saturday for qualifying, um, and, and even today, I thought we we started pretty good and progressed uh, through the race and got better and better. So, um, yeah, just really really cool weekend. It's hard to do, you know, hard to come here, not really knowing what to expect it's from a team standpoint, driver standpoint, you know, not knowing what the asphalt's going to do. But um, yeah, it was, it was nice to improve all weekend. Jonathan uh, wanted to take two there. I, you know, I think on top of his head was he was trying to get the lead. Um, we certainly dabbled with that that line of um, you know risk reward and even though we, were, we got really good on four there was kind of running the, the four car down before that caution um, but I think he probably thought a lot more people would take two certainly you know expected a few more guys to, to do it um, but we, you know we still weren't the only one we still had uh, you know a little bit of a buffer we'll call it as to other guys on on two tires that would you know slow down the, the four tire car, cars a little bit at the start of the run I mean I was all for it um, to see what it did. I was a little nervous, like, I don't know how my car is going to refire. I think that was the biggest thing that I was thinking about is how is this thing going to refire? Where is it going to build to? Um, and is it going to have the grip in 80 laps or so if this thing runs green? But well, yeah, luckily it did. It was tough. I, I, you know, I debated back and forth, but I was, uh, you know, pretty confident that doing two tires was the right decision to give us a chance to win, and, and it did today. I kind of had, I started struggling a little bit there, like 10 laps to go, and I had to pick the pace up. Uh, to, to try to keep the gap I had to, to Byron. But um, no, really good call by Jonathan. Got the lead and was able to manage our stuff uh, from the lead early. You know, defending the title, um, not a lot different than, um, you know, trying to go back to, to tracks that you've raced well at before. I think that's, um, you know, probably one of the toughest things that you can do. Um, you know, your, your scenario is, you know, you're stuck between, um, do I race what's proven or, or do I continue to kind of develop um, our program um, and, and take some risks. Um, you know, when you have a track that you struggle at, it's easy. You have a lot of ideas of what to do to, to be better, but it's a lot harder when you ran well. Yeah, it's super hard. I, I feel like to defend a title, especially the way things are now uh, with the format. Um, but I mean, that's number one priority for our group. I mean, I, I don't think there's any doubt in our minds that we can do it. Um, this team has done it before and, and they've done a great job this year of, of getting to where we need to be improving all year and um, the last three weeks have been really, really good. We've had some great speed. So um, yeah, just, just proud of the effort and uh, hopefully we can make, it, make another run at it. I think when I look at you know 2024 versus 2023, I think we've, we've ran better uh, at this point. We've had better speed, uh, we've qualified better. Um, just you know all the right pieces kind of haven't fallen together until, until the night. It's tremendous for us to, to get our first win. I think it lets us go, um, you know, try some different uh, philosophies here over the next a uh, few weeks and, and um, really stretch our legs and make sure that we're tip top, uh, per, you know, performing by the start of the playoffs. I'm gonna count it as a hometown win. Um, I spent a lot of time up here uh, with with mom's family, and uh, so if I win here, North Carolina, if we have a race in Ohio, I'm gonna count those as hometown wins. <laughs> I'm really fortunate to have a, a family that supports me, and, and you know, cousins and aunts, uncles, and, and friends of the family that have supported me for a long time. And really a lot of them, you know, we're here in 2012 for my first truck win. They're here in 2015 when I won the Xfinity race. They're here tonight, you know, so it's just cool. I mean, over the last, over 10 years, you know, they've been coming out here and supporting me and, and uh, that part's pretty special. Pretty fortunate to have family like that.
uh, before I got back in the car to drive to Victory Lane, they were at the fence. So that was nice. See my dad, mom, Uncle Dale. I definitely saw the, saw the group and, and knew, uh, you know, his dad and uh, uh, uncle were here. But yeah, pretty cool. So I've always wanted to win on Father's Day. Um, and that's a, that's a heck of a present. So hopefully he enjoys it. You know, you never know when, if, when you're going to win again. You don't schedule these things out, and you never know who's going to be there. You know, you try to win every week, but it's really special to have a ton of family members there. So, yeah, I mean, I, I get fortunate, and I, you know, we get the chance to win. And, you know, I've been through that before, but a lot of them have never been to Victory Lane before and get to experience that. A lot of young cousins, young kids, you know, that are just in awe of it, you know. So it's, I put that in my... You know, I've always kind of taken that approach. It's like, well, even though it's not my first time, it might be a lot of people's first times doing this, you know, being at a race or victory lane or something. So, and when it's family, it makes it even better. So, uh, yeah, it was cool to get, cool to get a photo with the family there. Um, and we'll be enjoying that one for a long time. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports at NBC YouTube channel.